Let me know when you got, sweetie. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted to say something. Yeah, you got it. Just let me sure we got it. On national TV. Okay, wait, hold on. There you go. And as soon as he got done challenging the guy to Israel, I want y'all to check this out. Okay. Hold on. You can't tell me that's a coincidence. You can't do that, baby. I don't have Instagram. It's not going to go back in there. Okay. Okay, man, I forgot so, you don't have it. So, so. You have to go out and click it again? Yeah, there you go. Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. The God of Israel. Check this out. On national TV. And as soon as he got done challenging the God of Israel, he died from a heart attack on the spot. You can't tell me that's a coincidence. That the man is talking crazy about Yahweh and said that Israel will suffer the wrath of Allah and died. Don't believe me, wrote a clip. Y'all see that? That's why That's why you watch your tongue and watch what you say because a lot of people speak against things they know not. A lot of people speak against things they know not. They don't even understand the God of Israel because the God of Israel is one who got us in the position that we're in today. A lot of people don't know it. A lot of people don't understand it. A lot of people don't even understand this book. And this book, penmanship, is from the creator for us in this day and time. But as I was just sharing with you, verse 17 and 18 in Daniel 7, but the uh, it says, verse 17, these great beasts which are four are four kings which shall arise out of the earth, which is the four kingdoms. And I just shared with you what it was. Verse 18, but the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. See, all that is just a short form of letting you understand what this is the key. But the saints, which is the children of Israel, who was anointed in the script in the wilderness. Don't go nowhere, baby. Oh, I'm about to check this upstairs. First. Okay, come on back down. <laughs> we might be asking you some questions. <laughs> uh, it said, but what I'm sharing with you is this. Um, see, the fact that it says the, the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom. We were anointed in the wilderness. We as Israel, as a people, was anointed in the wilderness. By being anointed in the wilderness, we was we were told, no, we made a vow unto the Father. Said, but all thou hast said, we will do and be obedient. We said that. And it was already given to Abraham that his seed, we're we going to... Let me go back here. That was my last point. I'm going to go back here and show y'all something in a few seconds. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever, and that time is coming. We're in that day right now. Now, the reason why I just said, what did I just say? I just said that because something else was on my mind to come and share with you um, this point right here. The saints. Man, I got I got scriptures running through my head right now. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to slow it down. To share with you what was said at this point in time. Come on, come on, Mike. Come on back. Got several things I was thinking of. Hmm, my hands are dry. My hands are dry. Yes. Most high shall be the shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever. Oh, the anointing. That was it. I knew it was gonna come back. Thank you, Father. The anointing. Now let me give you the anointing and the key. See, I have to keep going over this. Once people start getting accolated or start recognizing this point of view, I can really go on with more information. But right now, my main thing is to get everybody to understand this point. See, if you understand this point right here. You can start to really grow and elevate and understand where we are. And the spirit will start to come not only upon you, but within you to lead and guide you. Right here. 